Okay, so uh, we have a MacBook Pro. Uh, it's uh, 15 inches, and it's a backlight. Uh, it's an issue of a new backlight. The drive, yeah, I, I remember. Okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll work with that later. So let's see. Okay, so you guys are not going to be able to see, but but uh, definitely. So uh, Peter has confirmed that it's a backlight issue and it's not a flash gate issue. So um, I want to show you guys how you can. Um, so there are two ways you can confirm if uh, if you're dealing with a flash gate issue or 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 you're dealing with a backlight issue. So if this is one way, it's to basically position uh, to to place the screen in a certain angle. Uh, I'm just going to. So one way is to place uh, is to place the screen in a certain angle. So when we talk about flash gate issue, uh, I'm just going to get a screen. So when we talk about flash gate issue, what they're referring to it's uh, so on on your screen here. This is this is a typical screen. Um, so you have two two you have two cables on the side the, the big ones those are data cables those are basically your data that that, that that those are what your data cables are and then on the right hand side you have a tiny cable beside the data cable now this cable it's your backlight uh, 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 cable so basically that is your uh, that is your backlight line to to, to uh, uh, on your screen and then the cable on the left that is going to be your eyesight cable which is the webcam cable now, when they talk about flash gate, so what happens is over time, uh, opening and closing, opening and opening and closing. Now, this cable here, it tends to this. I'm just so this one here, not this one. So this one tends to break from here. So over time, a crack <coughs> tends to appear here. Now, if you have a flash gate issue, so when the crack tends to appear here, when you open the screen in a certain position. Um, and then it, it the contact is lost because now because it's because of the crack that's appeared here. When the contact is lost, what will happen is your there will be no backlight on your screen. But when you open a, a, the, when you also tilt the screen in the, in the particular position, what happens is the cable the, the, the line is it's the, the the line is whole again. So it's obviously you have like a broken line. And then when you tilt the screen in a certain direction, so what happens is the line is whole again, and then you have backlight, which is why uh, when which is what happens um, to to see if you have a backlight uh, if it's a flash gate issue when you open your your screen in a certain angle you should see the screen should light up that is and the reason why that is the case is because the connection the cable the the the, uh, the crack here it's been able to basically make a whole connection again now when you open it further what happens is it separates again and then you will have no backlight so there are two ways you like i said there are two ways you can you can confirm if you have a flash gate issue or backlight issue on your macbook pro uh, 15 inches or 13 inches so that is the one way you can obviously tilt the screen in a particular direction and see if you get image now the second way is to use a multimeter so in other, uh, i'm just going to quickly explain to you guys so let us go to a typical backlight circuitry okay we can go to so this is a so this is a 2016 2017 macbook pro 15 inches so let us go to the backlight circuitry of that uh let's uh let's go to the backlight circuitry this is going to be an 80.00281, 80.00281. Okay, uh, the schematic is open. Uh, let us now open the board view. Um, 281.281.281.281. 281, 281, 281. Okay, here you go. So that it's uh that's that's the, the board view. Let us go to the backlight circuitry section of the machine, and that is going to be U8400. So let us go to U8400. U8400. So here it says um, it says LCD backlight driver. 
Now, on our LCD backlight driver, we what we will find after the boosting, uh, the boosting is complete, we will find an output of 59 volt. We'll find an output of 59 volt. Now, this 59 volt that is the maximum uh, that is the the, the maximum the, the, the maximum voltage that you will get on after the, the the completion of the boosting has taken place. Now, that 59 volt will will drop when you have load on that line. So, which means after the 59 volt has been generated by your backlight circuitry, uh, the screen will take some of that uh, some some of that. Now, when the screen takes some of that voltage, the voltage will drop. When the voltage drops, what, what you will now measure on your backlight output is not going to be 59 volt. It's going to be less than 59 volt. Now, if you have an issue of a flare gate, this can also uh, this can also be uh, uh, be explained in uh, uh, this can also be a different type of. Okay, let's not go into that. Let's make it simple here. If you have if you have an issue on your flare gate, one of the ways you can use your multimeter to confirm that you have an issue on your flare gate is when you measure on your backlight output here, one of these caps here, you will get exactly the voltage that the, the, the uh, that the backlight has supplied, uh, the, the backlight has 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 generated, and it's and it's not being consumed. 59 volt. Uh, although it may it may slightly it may just be a little bit less than 59 volt. But it's going to be 50 something volts. That, what is, that is what you get on your backlight output. Now, that tells you that the backlight itself is fine, but there is no load on that line. Do you understand? Yeah. So, the two ways you can, you can confirm if it's, a, if it's a flare gate issue one way is to tilt the screen in a certain direction. In that, in that way, the possibility of the cable making a connection again, uh, and then you can obviously. And then, by the way, just, just the last thing. So, that. Uh, obviously, make trying to uh, place this in a, in a certain direction. Um, that will work until the cable breaks completely. So at the at the very uh, at the very early stage, uh, that will be happening when you tilt the screen in the, in the, uh, to, to a particular position. It works, and then when you tilt it out of that position, it, it stops working. That is in, in the early stage. No. Now over time, what will happen is that connection will break completely. Now when it breaks completely, what will happen is, however you tilt it, you have you have no, no, no communication. So now, once this, uh, uh, whether whether it's, it's it's partially broken or it's completely broken, you can you can confirm that with uh, uh, with your multimeter. So on your multimeter, when you go to your backlight output, what you will find is on your backlight output, you will have the maximum voltage that has been generated by your backlight circuitry, and that will tell you that your screen is not uh, putting load on that line. I don't know if it's understood. Okay, so after that, uh, uh, with that explained, let's now find out what issue we have with this uh, 15 inches. If it's an issue of a backlight or it's an issue of uh, the screen voltage not being, con uh, the backlight voltage not being consumed by the screen. And uh, so in, in a different, uh, I think I did talk about this uh, before in our previous video, uh, but uh, I think I didn't go uh, a little bit more in depth in that video, so uh, which is why I'm trying to do that here. But even even this is still kind of like a summary version because I, I kind of had to uh, skip some of uh, some things. Uh, I didn't I didn't have to go over uh, the screen assembly design and then the flash gate floor or yeah. So all of that we didn't go into it. Okay, so. The back cover is out. The machine is it's it's on and running. I'm just going to show you guys. Uh, so you can see the backlight, uh, the the key, uh, the keyboard caps key is on. This machine is fully functional. Uh, the only thing we don't have it's uh, backlight, and uh, we don't have backlight on the screen. So what we want to do is we want to go to the backlight lab. So these caps here, we want to measure at these caps here to see what we have on our backlight output. So let us go to um, on our board view here, those caps are going to be this, this caps here. So where it says PPV out, SO underscore LCD backlight, we want to measure to see what voltage we have on that line. So two things, behind door number one, we'll have zero volt on, on that cap. If, if it is zero volt, it means that we have a short. So, okay, so um, and another, th and, and, okay, okay, let's, okay, let's just focus on this only. Let's just focus on this. So let's measure and see what voltage we get on our backlight output. 
and we have zero volt. And then on the other side, we have zero volt. Okay, so now zero volt tells us that we do not have an issue with the flare skit. Now, I have also gone over this before, but um, um, so with the 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 even, 13 inches, 15 inches, when you have an issue of no backlight and it's not a flare skit issue, nine out of 10, it is a faulty cap on your backlight output line, nine out of 10. But this is also, this will also be a case, uh, a case of where there is no liquid damage. Okay, where there's no liquid damage, nine out of 10, it's gonna be a case of a short on your backlight output. And a short on your backlight output, do you want me to open the other, the, uh, are you able to see this or I should open it on a uh, flex board here? Okay. Okay, let's uh, open it here. Uh, to H1. Okay, so nine out of 10, what you will find is you will get zero volt on your backlight output, and that is because of a short on your backlight output. Now, usually, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a, it's a touch bar, a non touch bar, um, a 13 inches, a 15 inches, even a 16 inches, nine out of 10, if it's not liquid related, and if it's not a flare skate just like this one, and, and then you measure for your backlight output, you find zero volt, nine out of 10, you will have one of these caps, will, uh, it, it is an, it, it's, it's a case of one of these caps failing. So before we continue, let us see if we have a short on that line. We have confirmed that we do not have, we have zero volt on that line. And I, I unless this is, um, Unless somebody was trying to replace the screen and then something happens and then and then the 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 uh, the, uh, the 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 else uh, the, the the backlight fuse uh, 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 blew out that but other than that I, I mean the standard the, the standard failure of this if it's not a backlight issue uh, obviously you will measure zero volt on your backlight output just like what you what we have measured now and we don't we do not see any sign of obvious liquid damage now the one nine out of ten you will have a short on your backlight output uh, you will have a short on the uh, on your on your backlight output and nine out of ten you will have a failed cap that has uh, basically caused that short so let us see if we have a failed uh, let's see if we have a short on that line uh we switch to continuity mode black probe on ground and then red probe so this side is ground on, on the cap, and then the other side is supposed to be the main line. And then we see that we have a short. Now, this short, like I said again, 9 out of 10, it's going to be one of the one of the, 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 the capacitors on the backlight output line. So you see there are, there are a couple of them here, and then there are a couple of them on the other side of the board. So what you want to do is we want to obviously uh, uh, take the board out and, and, and then... Uh, find out which of the cap has uh, has failed and also what i what i have also found is oftentimes um, it's just one cap that fails oftentimes sometimes you have more than one that fails but oftentimes it is one of the cap that fails so uh so it's it's what take uh, it's what taking note of so uh you obviously this is something that you have to build up uh, you just don't go and start replacing cap. There has to be a reason, which is why the, your multimeter and also getting 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 an understanding of uh, of of how your your device work. And also also very important is to get an understanding of what device you're working on. What year is it? What are the common failures of that device? Do you understand? So, for example, uh, if this is a 2021 MacBook Pro, uh, 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 MacBook Pro, uh, uh, the the M1 Pro. This is we will not be basically uh, this this troubleshooting me method it may be different from from that. Now this what I this troubleshooting method that I'm talking about here. These are mainly 20, uh, 2016, 2017, The touch bars, the non touch bars, uh, the thirteen inches and the fifteen inches. So these are the common ones. And then by the way, when it comes to flash gate, flash gate is very common on the 2016, 2017. Uh, flex gate is not so common in 2018 and it's very rare on the 2019 16 inches so that said uh, we have confirmed that we have a short on our backlight output we have also talked about how you can differentiate between uh, 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 how you can differentiate between uh, a flex gate issue from obviously tilting the screen and also how you can use your multimeter to determine 
uh, what you have on your whether you have a, an issue of uh, flare skate. So Peter, is it is it uh, is it clear? Yes, it's fine. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to take the board out to find out. Sometimes you can you can spot the cap that is not looking good. And you just replace you just replace that cap. Uh, or some some other times you can just remove all of the caps and then measure the caps with with uh, with your multimeter. See the one that beeps on both sides with the caps not in the circuitry, and then you're good to go. So that it's uh, so hopefully this is going to be uh, okay. Okay, the board is out. Let's uh, put the shell on the side. So, these are the caps that I'm talking about. So, you have these ones on the side, and then you have more of that on the other side. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to um, do uh, 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 some kind of, let's, let's closely look at the caps and see if we can pick up. Uh, Okay, so most of the time you just you, you don't pick it up. So what 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 I do is I just remove all of the caps, and uh, let's just uh, let's just confirm that again that because also by the way, but this is not common, and there's sometimes you may also you may also have a short that is going to result from your screen. So that will be when the screen is connected, you find a short on your back and out output. But when the screen is disconnected, you have no short. So let's just confirm that we don't have. But like I said, that is not common on these models. One side, round, and then the other side. See? Yeah, so our problem is our screen. <laughs> How interesting. How interesting. So, like I, I mean, like I said, uh, it's not common on these models, but how interesting that um, that is the case that we do have a short on, on, on the, the short that we have is being generated from the screen. How interesting is that? Okay, so what we want to do now is uh, connect the, our uh, board again and see if this, the short comes back. Okay. Screen is connected. Let's check again. Okay, so unfortunately, this is one out of <laughs> yeah. So, so, so I, I I just had to mention that because uh, on very common on, on other models, but not so common here. Uh, you will you will find that that the, the short that you have it's basically uh, being created by your screen. So. Uh, Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see how what to do. What to do. So what we can do it's um, so for this now the client has to obviously replace the screen. That's behind the number one. Behind the number two, we can try to address that short inside the screen. So we will have to remove the screen and find out um, if it's a short that. Uh, okay, so that screen has to go out. Uh, how interesting because oftentimes what happens is uh, uh, what fails it's what fails it's uh, either you have a ca case of a flare gate issue or a case of a short one uh, and just very very rarely do you have a case of the screen being the cause of a short and uh, which is which is one one thing about repairs you 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 would you cannot say it's a yes until your assessment is complete. 
Do you understand? So it's uh, it's always a matter of you know uh, every now and then you you have to in order for you to say that okay this is what it is, which is why one of the rules of um, of uh, of being a technician it's uh, they say you don't guess. So if you guess and you're right, you're still wrong. If you're wrong, you obviously you're wrong. So so if you guess it and then you actually got it without any form of troubleshooting and you you happen to be right from I mean in, in your guesses, that will still be seen as you being wrong because uh, the right way to do it is for you to arrive at a conclusion through uh, a, a form of troubleshooting. X, okay, X, Y, Z, uh, and this, and this, and, and that. You just can't say, okay, the issue is this. How did you arrive at that? Do you understand? So you see, uh, I mean, f with this one, uh, however much uh, uh, you can say, oh, this and uh, that, I mean, and you see, it all came down to the screen. So which is why sometimes someone is telling me, just, 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 I have, a, I have some, sometimes you get a call to say, or oh, somebody will tell you, okay, I've got an issue like this one. This is how the machine behaves. What is the problem? My friend, <laughs> I, I, can, I, can, I can tell you what it might be, but exactly what it is, I don't know until I assist the device. Which is also why I do not, um, okay. I, 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 I really do not subscribe to, uh, okay, yeah, screen is out. Um, what you want to do, it's, uh, you want to see if our problem, it's, it's basically uh, close by, so we don't have to open up the screen. And by the way, the screen looks like something that has been, Hmm. Okay, let's see if our issue is close by. So the first thing we want to do is uh, we have the cable disconnected. Uh, let's try without the cable. And I'm talking about the, the backlight uh, cable line now. So let's try without the cable. This is uh, the first gate, the, the typical first gate cable that, I mean, the cable that go bad. And then you, you get, you tend to see a, a, a crack that appears here. Okay, so let's disconnect that cable first and then check again, see if we have any difference. Now, what we're trying to do is uh, we're trying to, we, we're going through the, the um, we're trying to deduce or we're trying to uh, narrow down exactly where our issue is. So with the cable disconnected, if we still have a short on the line, it tells us that uh, we are not, it's not from this side, but this side. Do you understand? So let's try again. Yeah. So it's definitely. <laughs> uh, so do you understand now? So what we, what we're able to deduce now is so um, if I mean if 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 we were. If our issue was on the T-con, uh, basically was on, on, on the mini board here, then with the cable disconnected, we should still have a problem. But in this case, cable is disconnected and it was still, we, cable is disconnected and we no longer have a short. So which means our problem is it's not on this board. Our problem is uh, obviously on, uh, 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 on our cable, uh, on, on our cable towards the side of, of the screen. So um, this, we will have to inform the client that, okay, uh, you have a screen issue and uh, we'll give the client the price for, for the repair or if they want to replace it, whatever they, 
the decide. Okay, so I hope this has been informative enough. I mean, three things we can we can uh, basically deduce from this. Number one is that we talked about how you can differentiate between a flex gate issue, and number two, we talked about uh, obviously uh, behind door num that uh, behind that door is how you can obviously tilt your screen in a certain uh, position to see if you get a backlight. And then the second part of it was for you to use a multimeter uh, if you get to the maximum voltage that that rail creates that tells you that the screen is not consuming uh, the backlight that has been uh, produced and it has nothing to do with the backlight and then also we, we say if you have zero volt on your backlight output nine out of ten it's going to be a short on your backlight output and then we also said that nine out of ten it's going to be one of the cats on your backlight output that has fit one or two of the cats that has fit and this is a situation where you do not have evident uh, 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 when there is no uh, 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 an issue of liquid damage now and then we also said that um, nine out of ten it is obviously the caps but sometimes you have a situation whereby the screen being the cause of what of the short and i mean and then after that we we were yet to confirm that before we said that and then we confirmed and then we saw that with the screen connected we have a short with it, without the screen connected we have no short and then we then had to further narrow it down. So we then had to disconnect the screen, uh, uh, the screen backlight cable. And then we, we wanted to confirm if our issue, it's, it's basically located on the, 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 the mini board itself uh, or the, the T-con board. But that was not the case. Our, our issue was locate, uh, uh, our issue, it's on the screen itself, which, which translates to uh, the screen cable for for the backlight and uh, yeah so at this point now we have to get the client to we have to inform the client what the client's options are and then we'll take it from there uh, thank you guys and i hope this has been helpful see you guys in the next one